Hello everyone, Joanne with StampingInTheValley.com and welcome to my craft room. Uh, if you hear the birds tweeting, I've got the window open in the craft room. So, <laughs> getting some nice fresh air in here while I craft this morning. I just love it. I was playing with the Little Elephant Bundle, guys. And this is not just not for baby showers, which it, it is. It would make great for baby showers. Um, but look at this set because it's just not for having you know, a baby. Um, I love the little elephants. They are just adorable. Look at them. They're so cute. This is some DSP from the Share What You Love, and I, when I saw it, I thought about the elephants in the jungle. So that's how come I picked that. Isn't that adorable? And I did some layering. We'll go over these measurements in just a moment, but I wanted to show you guys um, what I did with my layer, um, what was it, uh, ready to layer stamp set here, okay? This is one that I did and I used our um, Blushing Bride. Is it Blushing Bride or, no, I'm sorry, it's Powder Pink. I used Powder Pink here and I used our Rose. Do you see this little uh, wire kind of thread here? And that is our new color Rose. I put that behind there. Um, and I used some of our beautiful ribbon, our new ribbon there that is um, uh, edged with the silver and then it's edged also with gold. Uh, that's beautiful. If you go over to stampinginthevalley.com when I get these videos over there, there'll be a list of everything that I use on these cards for you guys. Um, and it will help you to pick your product. Now let's look at this one. This I just did some Bermuda Bay ribbon and did a little knot bow right there on the side. Didn't that come out pretty? And what I did on the inside of all of these cards and on the envelopes right here was to use, um, let's see, this is the, the uh, Big Thank You. I knew I loved this and it came from that A Big Thank You set. Uh, that little squiggle so I thought that squiggle kind of went with these squiggles so <laughs> so I did that and this was my fresh fig I used a wood element here I like that with the dark the fresh fig and this is powder pink that came out nice and here is our um, lemon lime twist and of course that is one of my favorites and using our pretty ribbon right here. So yeah, go over to stampinginthevalley.com. There'll be a list of everything that I have used on the previous video that I uh, showed you how to use the um, the ready to layer stamp set, okay? Uh, sometimes my videos there on my, I uh, have to admit on my website, are a little bit behind my videos on YouTube and on my Facebook page. So remember, there's a link below, go over to my Facebook page and um, like it so that if I upload anything, you'll get that also. And sometimes now I've been doing live Facebook videos. So let's talk about this card um, just for a moment. Actually, let's just talk about this little special Stampin' Up! is having. Um, if you join, you've heard me on some other videos, for $99 you get $125 worth of product if you join as a demonstrator and then they are going to let you pick from one of these collections in colors, brights, neutrals, regals, subtles. This is a $67.50 uh, value and you get the entire set of ink pads guys, the entire set of brights for free for free. The holiday catalog's coming up. If you've ordered from me in the past year, I will be sending you a free holiday catalog. You have to have ordered from me for in the past year. Um, and so I go uh, July to July is what I'll do. And um, so, yeah, if you've ordered from me, you'll be receiving a free holiday catalog. And if you want to save the most when you are crafting through the holidays, you don't have to make a business out of this. You can just sign up to be a demonstrator for just three months. Get the, um, get the wonderful product here, get the free ink pads, get uh, the discounts, you get 20% discounts, and um, yeah, and just use some great product through the holiday season. Now also, they have the uh, Designer Series Paper, buy three, get one free. This goes off on July 31st, so remember that. Um, and I 
Of course, if you order $25 in product from me, these are the two free card kits for this month. Please click on the link below and watch that video. It's also an instructional video to show you how to put that those together. So um, let's talk now about the measurements of this card. We're going to go with mint macaron at eight and a half by five and a half, scored at four and a quarter. It will open like this. Your inside layer is four and three quarter by three and a half. And the outside layers are, this is basic black and it's five and a quarter by four. This is the DSP um, and it is five by three and three quarter. This is a piece of basic black at four and one eighth by two and five eighths, okay? This piece, four and one eighth by two and five eighths. Mint macaron is two and a half by four. And then Whisper White is two by three and a half. And we will be working with these, all of these pieces in just a moment. So let's just start by, um, let's go ahead and do the inside of the card. Let's go ahead and open up our ink. I might have to pause and like reset up or something like that uh, as we continue to go through this. So we have some layering here to do. We're going to use our mint macaron. We're going to use pumpkin pie. Now, as a demonstrator, I get to see all the color coaches, okay? So I went over to the color coach, and um, I looked at mint macaron, and it had pumpkin pie, and then it had soft suede. I happen to not have a big soft suede ink pad, so I used crumb cake. So, uh, but that's how I got those colors going there. And, you know, if you're a demonstrator, we have... Um, access to stuff like that and that is fantastic that's another great thing about being a demonstrator now with this these are red rubber you don't need a foam pad I'm gonna go into my soft suede or not soft suede I'm sorry crumb cake <laughs> talking about soft suede I have soft suede on the mind so there we're gonna make our little elephant and then we're gonna make our little or our other littler elephant <laughs> out of pumpkin pie right here just like that and then we're going to take our thank you in our heart, tap gently in our mint macaron, and just down and up. Oh, missed it a little bit there on the top. See how I missed it right there? Let's go ahead and use side two, okay? So let's just do that again. An elephant and another little elephant. and then a thank you. I think I'm going to stamp this off actually. That is very, very dark. So I did stamp it off. Come right here and there we go. And just a nice little light little thank you. A little different than the other card, but that's fine. It's always good to have them a little different. So that's our inside. Let's move that to the side. Now here is our piece of Whisper White, and the only thing we're going to do with that is take this plaid straight piece, kind of straight, it has a little wavy line. This lower part right here is a little straighter than this part, and I want that on the bottom. We're going to go into our mint macaron with that, and I'm just going to come up about a mm, third of the way on the cardstock, and just do that, okay? Just like that, and move that to the side. And let's see, what can we do next? <laughs> let's bring our card base in and let's attach our basic black here. And we'll get some of our pieces out of the way. I hope you guys have been enjoying the new catalog. I sure have been I'm trying to get my videos up for you guys as much as I can with working in the summer and sometimes I get to keep my little grandson so that gets to be busy but fun <laughs> okay now we're gonna put this one so I can't believe that they are giving away a whole the entire set of um, ink pads guys and you know, like I say, you don't have to sell the product. If you just want the discount, just want to sign up for three months, just sign up for three months. No big deal. Okay, so that's our base right there. Now, um, I was looking at 
this piece of mint macaron right here and it layers on that black and when I put it on there and it was just plain it needed a little something something so that's where our little hearts come in and we're gonna go ahead and stamp them and stamp them on and off the page just around the border of this piece of cardstock because you're going to layer that white one right in there on top of it so you don't need to cover it and we're good okay just like that okay now um, you know what I'm going to do let me move this out of the way what I am going to do is attach our inside piece to our card we'll get this out of the way also sometimes when I have too many things in front of me I wind up picking up the wrong thing and uh oh the ink goes down and whoops there we go there's the inside isn't that cute our little elephants they're adorable oh they're so cute okay and I will say this much I don't like how this came um, so blotchy Okay, so where it bled into itself, I am going to do a second generation of that on the back. Okay, let me try that again. And if we don't like it, then they're very juicy. I am going to you to stamp it off, and I think that might give me the look that I really want. Yes, okay, do you see how that is? I just wanted it kind of washy. I didn't want it as dark as it came over here. Okay? So this will then layer onto here, but we're going to add our balloons. Now, the little balloons I want in the center. So I just took a pencil, guys, honest, and I made a dot. That's it. Just like that. Now, I still have the Regal markers. Okay, you can use any markers you want because you can color on red rubber. Red rubber is great to color on, absolutely fantastic to color on. So, um, I didn't use the purple. I used the, um, this is Island Indigo, and of course it's a retired color. You could use any colors that you want. Um, and I just kind of colored these balloons, but I'm just showing you that if you have any kind of markers, not your alcohol markers, not the Stampin' Blends, but if you have these type of markers in any colors, um, you can color these. Because red rubber colors, mar markers will color on red rubber. Get that little, I don't think I got that, with the blue. I do love markers. So, and I think... I like to color on the red rubber. I like the versatility of that because you can get all kinds of colors and that's fantastic. And so here on the on this um, strings I just use the Cajun Craze. A little bit and a little bit in here. Just like that. Okay? Now, because we've used the ink and used the ink, it is still wet, you can see it, but I'm going to blow on it and that makes it nice and moist. Let me move all of this mess out of the way. Put that there. And I'm going, see where my little dot is, my little pencil dot, I can see it. And I'm just going to kind of cover that up with my balloons. Just like that. Didn't that come out cute? I might could have come down with that stripe a little bit, but it's okay, really. So now what I want to do on some, I'm going to move that aside, on some Scrap Whisper White right here. I'm going to stamp my larger elephant, my larger pachyderm. So cute. Look at him. Ah, oh, in crumb cake. So adorable. And I'm going to punch him out because I'm going to pop him up with dimensionals. I am just all about these elephants, and I love that their trunks are up. My mom always said that if their trunks were up, it was good luck. I don't know. I'm going with it. Hey, anything for good luck. Look at how cute he is. Oof. Okay. Now, <laughs> now let me do the little one in the pumpkin pie. And I'm just going to, let me bring this up into the camera. I'm just going to stamp it 
just like that and then put it right into this punch now if you wanted to there's ears and an eye there if you wanted like to do it in black I'm leaving this one white so adorable oh my goodness this is just I'm just all about these elephants guys just cute okay let me get my shards of paper to the side there get this out of the way let me put my fingers in the ink because I have to. You know. <laughs> We're in the craft room. We're going to get inky. Okay. Let's bring these in. And let's bring our little element in here. Isn't that adorable? And let's put this together. So much fun. I'm so glad to share with you guys what goes on in this craft room. It is like the highlight of my week, honest to goodness, to get in here and craft with you guys and be together and just share some of you know just my creations and maybe you guys have some creations and you know together you put them together and you get something that like you've made something out of nothing so what I did to compensate for that I just lowered my elephants so that they look like they're holding on to the balloon and it looks great it looks fine look how cute that is Okay, now um, here on this card, I put to my friend down here, but I'm going to put it up here. Just a little deviation, okay, in the mint macaron. Just a slight little deviation. Doesn't mean it's right, doesn't mean it's wrong. Looks as cute as could be up there, if you ask me. <laughs> okay, and then that is going to, whoops. That is going to go on our piece here that we made with the heart. See what I'm saying about like it needed something back there? Not really an embossed thing because like if you do it like this, see how plain that is? And just by adding a little bit of ink and just a little bit of hearts, it just really makes the difference. Okay, so right back here and we're going to get the snail. Yeah, and sometimes as I go through things, I'm like, oh, wait, I could do that a little bit better, and I, I might want to do this a little different. I think it all comes out so nice. It's all creation. It's all up in your mind. I think it's fantastic to create things. Now we bring in our basic black because, look at this, this fades out right here, okay? This just doesn't let that element come to you and you want it to. So, in, and not using a quarter of an inch, that's why I went with the eighth of an inch. I just needed something to define this element. And that's why I backed it with something darker. See how that just raises that? It gives it that separation between that DSP and the element that you made here. So, just a little tip on uh, some design tips there. For you guys yeah if anything ever fades out back it with something because it will it'll it will just define it and it will frame it now this is just like I said just that eighth of an inch absolute so really it's a sixteenth of an inch border because we cut it back an eighth of an inch or it was larger by an eighth of an inch so it's a sixteenth of an inch border around the element okay so it's always half if that makes sense to you I hope I'm not confusing you guys Okay, now dimensionals on the back, and you do definitely want one in the middle. We're almost done with this card. I thought I'd have to really stop, start and stop with this, but I just started going and started rolling and enjoying my day with you guys and just sharing a little piece of crafting with my friends. I love that. Oh, I got a little bit of ink right there. We'll fix that. You know me. Okay, right here in the middle. Okay, let me get um, my rhinestones. Who doesn't like a rhinestone? So where we got that little bit of ink, I'm just going to take a large rhinestone. I'm going to put it right there. It's perfect. Making lemonade out of lemons. And then the card even comes out better than what you even expected. Okay? Let me close this ink. 
and let's share together what we've got here. So happy. Little card. So sweet. Look at that. Here's this. Oh, I should make my envelope, right? Okay. Let's not forget the envelope while we're here on camera. Let me move these to the side. And we'll just crumb cake. And I put him on the back because of the way that he was facing his trunk. Okay. And then with the um, pumpkin pie, I put the little one on the front because of the way it was facing. Okay. Beautiful. Hey, thanks for being with me today and watching me um, put together and almost kind of redesign this card. I really like that right there. Let's put another one. Like I say, you never know. All of a sudden, you get something that else that you like. We're going to put that right there. Okay, now I'm happy. So here we have two finished products. Again, thank you so much for being with me. Please go over to stampinginthevalley.com, click on the big blue button, and you can order any and all of your Stampin' Up! products. And especially, oh my goodness, look at this little elephant bundle, guys. This is, this is just adorable. Adorable bundle. Really, really fun and cute. So, this is Happy Crafting. This is Happy Crafting. Thank you so much. Have a great day.